Professor Spectrum, experts in spectral technology. Hi, I'm Sophie and this is Naomi and we both do spectral analysis at Portable Spectral Services. One of the common questions we get asked a lot in our work is what the difference is between portable XRF analysis and micro XRF analysis. So the difference between portable XRF and micro XRF is something we get asked a lot. We do. And they both have the same fundamental methodology. They're both x-rays and they both hit the sample and you get a spectra from that using the fluorescence. The main differences between the two, I would say, is that portable XRFs are handheld. They are predominantly quantitative in that that's essentially what you're doing. You're analysing to get numbers for a particular spot on a particular sample. So it's generally more used as sort of whole rock analysis, so larger scales down a drill hole over a mapping an area. Also great for uh, just getting sort of that identification on a range of different samples as well. Yeah, and you're doing it on one very small spot. So yeah, so like three to eight millimetres generally, depending on the specs. Yeah, so a lot of the time we want to make sure that you're picking an area that's representative or that you're trying to, you know, or at least that you're just aware that you're only getting an eight millimetre spot. So on yeah. a large scale, there's going to be a lot more variability. Yeah. Whereas for the micro XRF, of course, we then go from looking at around three to eight millimetres down to a 25 mil micron spot yes. size. So yeah. a whole different scale of resolution. Yeah. Um, and of course, we start to introduce mapping. So rather than a single spot analysis to represent effectively a whole sample, we can now analyse the full surface of a sample and actually map distribution. Yeah, so the micro XRF in comparison to portable XRF is that it's a benchtop unit, it's no longer portable and you're now yeah, mapping the surface rather than actually looking at a single spot. But we're also then no longer really looking at it as a quantified method as such as we're now looking at the variation across a sample. Um, so we use them for very different purposes yeah, really. I mean, so more of associations with and distributions rather than just pure quantification. Yeah. Although we can quantify the data of course, we, we absolutely can. Um, it obviously takes a much longer time because the amount of data you're looking at is, is enormous, Yes. Um, but it can still be done. And along with spectral matching as well, because of course the uh, micro XRF has those links to the AMIC software where you can use spectral matching for your mineral identification as well. Yeah, one of the limitations I guess for portable XRF is that you aren't really able to necessarily delineate your minerals in your sample based on the chemistry um, as such because it's just one spot for a large area. Whereas with the micro XRF we can take that data and transplant it into the AMIC software which is a mineralogy classification software and then specifically I'd identify the different mineral phases and their abundances and we can then also link that back to the quantification so actually link that back to the yeah the quantified numbers so i suppose you can really just condense it all down to the idea that handheld portable xrfs are really just for some whole rock analysis on a totally different scale so you've got yeah. a larger scale whereas micro xrf analysis are really used for that more selective sample analysis at a higher detail i think that sums it up yeah easy cool. <laughs> Hope this has cleared up any questions you had regarding the two techniques. Uh, we'll see you next time.